welcome to episode 33 of What's That Bird? First, I'm excited to say that I recently crossed the 600 bird barrier. I'm very privileged to have seen 607 species of birds. Now, I used to have a goal of seeing 5,000 species of birds, but recently I thought that might be a bit extreme. So now my goal is just to see as many birds as possible wherever I am. And perhaps I'll get to 5,000, and perhaps I won't. But nonetheless, I really have fun seeing birds, and that's why I continue to deliver these episodes of What's That Bird? Now let's get back to the episode. Today's mystery bird is from Tony Barrett with a bird from Beijing. This is actually the first bird from China on What's That Bird, and it gives me a chance to show off my book. Birds of East Asia, China, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, and Russia. This book is by Mark Brazil, and it contains beautiful illustrations of all the birds you can see in East Asia. So we'll see how good this field guide really is with the mystery bird. So without further ado, let's see this bird. Already I can see that this bird probably won't be too hard to identify, and that's because it has several distinctive field marks. It has a gray head with a blacker face, and the distinction between the gray and the black is very sharp. Also, it has a rufous belly, gray wings, and a white spot either on its back or its wings, but I think this, this mark is a wing mark. So I think these field marks are going to make identifying this bird very easy. And I was really in luck because when I first opened this book, I came across something that looked very much like the mystery bird. I found the black red start. Unfortunately, the black red start is not the mystery bird because it doesn't have the white spot. However, the next page was a little more promising. There were three birds on that page that looked like they could be the mystery bird. The white-throated red start, the Darian red start, and Goldenstadt's red start. However, the white-throated red start has a white throat as its name implies, and Goldenstadt's red start has a white cap. Further pages did not have any more red starts or any similar birds, so this bird must be the Darian red start. And I'll give this identification a probability rating of 99%. By the way, don't let the English name fool you. The Dorian redstart is in the family Muscicapidae, whereas the American redstart is in the family Perulidae. Perulidae are the family of warblers that migrate back to North America in the spring. The painted redstart is another bird in the Perulidae family, which actually looks very similar to the Dorian redstart, which may be why the Dorian redstart is so named, even though these birds are not closely related except for both of them being passerines. But let's get back to the Dorian redstart. There's actually an amazingly fascinating fact about the Dorian red start which was discovered by researchers in 2021. Before I describe the result, I'd like to commend the authors of this paper for publishing their result as open access. In this paper, they showed that Dorian red starts exhibit distinct personality types along a bold versus shy spectrum. More specifically, some Dorian red starts like to explore and are more receptive to new objects, whereas other Dorian red starts are more reserved and don't explore as much and are more cautious about new objects. These researchers found something cool. The bolder, more exploratory Dorian red starts are more likely to reject parasitic eggs from brood parasites like cuckoos. I guess it does indeed pay to try new things. So that about does it for this episode of What's That Bird? I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again next time.